Hey there, my name is Tisha Kennedy, and I am so excited to share with you this new feature in Go High Level. So if you haven't heard of Go High Level before, and you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure to click the link below in this video and you can get a free trial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Facebook account, your Facebook business page, your Facebook group, and schedule your posts to automatically post. And if you're a social media manager, you can actually also have your clients um, enroll into a system like this as and set up a um, request for approval. So uh, if you have this system, you can also have one of your admins do this, create, schedule out your post and send it to you for approval. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm starting fresh here on a brand new account. I'm going to show you how to integrate. If you already have go high level, you're going to go ahead and set up your 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 account right so you're in your launchpad section and you're going to want to connect your facebook account here um, if you haven't already so i'm going to do this part as well as go into the marketing section here and connect your facebook account here and you can also connect all of your other social media platforms so first we're going to go back to the dashboard i'm sorry the launchpad and we're going to connect your facebook account so I already am logged into Facebook, so it's it knows it's me. It's asking for permission. So you'll want to be logged in. If you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. And so it's going to look like this, where it says um, you've been previously linked, or it'll ask you to link your account to Lead Connector. So I'm going to connect to Stacia Kennedy, and it's connecting to Lead Connector now. Then it's going to pull up every... Um, a Facebook account that I have and so you can find the Facebook page that your um, business is with and you can click done your, your, the location that you want to connect it to or Facebook business page that you want to connect it to and then we're going to go over to marketing so now that we have that connected we're going to go over to um, to marketing and add in your Facebook account here. We're going to scroll through. I have a lot of Facebook pages, so we're going to find the Facebook page you want to connect it to and allow. Then you can also add your Facebook group. So you can click on Facebook again. You can actually add multiple Facebook pages um, and groups. So I'm going to scroll down a little more. more. And you can see we have um, a bunch of different Facebook groups. So what you want to do is, as you can see, a lot of these have a little error um, showing up here that says um, add lead connector as an app. So what you're going to do is click on that link right there. So oh, it says add lead connector as an app. You're going to click on that link and it's going to open up and you're going to search for that app, Lead Connector. I'm going to type in Lead Connector here, and you see the app shows up here. We're going to click on that and click on Add. And that's going to allow the system to post inside of your Facebook group. It's going to show up like something like that. If you want to, you can delete this post. It's just a, uh, a formality that they um, have turned it on, letting the group know that this has been turned on. We're going to go back to the system and we're going to click on that button. We're going to click on the checkbox and click on allow. So now we can post in those two groups. You can keep going and add on all of your other social media platforms. Um, we're just doing Facebook and Facebook groups today. And then we can click on compose a new post and we can start posting. You can click on the Facebook business page or even both if you want to post in both of those accounts at the same time. And so you can write your caption here. You can make it bold. You can make it italicized. You can use emojis here. You can add a video. You can add a photo. I'm going to add, let's see. Have any pictures in this new account? So let me see here. Find an account, a picture to post. 
see if I have any. Here's a sample photo. Social media post. So I'll upload a post like this. And it's a little distorted because I stretched out my, my screen is huge. So we'll screw do that and then if you want to you can do a follow-up comment a lot of times especially for Instagram I might say or I might write a caption saying link in the first comments um, or or just having some kind of call to action in the first comment here um, or if I'm doing a post on Facebook a lot of times I don't want to put a link in the caption so I'll, I'll say link in the in the caption so I can put in the link here Link in first comment, you know, uh, things like that. You can again add a, a video instead of a photo. You can, you can also for Instagram, you can save some hashtags and post some hashtags in there. You can um, tag you know, custom values. Um, that's a little advanced. We'll skip over that. And then we can either save it for later and save it for a draft. We can post it right now, clicking here, or we can click on this drop down and um, do the same thing. We can post now, schedule post, or we could actually, if we are um, a social media manager and we um, are scheduling a post for a client to approve, we can send posts for approval, schedule it for the certain time that you want to schedule it for. And then in the drop down, you can have um, as many. Um, some of staff members in there uh, this is a brand new account so I don't have any staff members but uh, you would pick one and then send it to them to approve it so you can add a note here it's um, not sure of the caption please review whatever you want to you know note um, and so let me add in a user so you can see what this looks like now we're back I just wanted to show you how it actually looks when you schedule a post you will um, for approval you click on post and schedule um, send a post for approval say so we'll schedule it for Friday at 5 a.m. now I have a, um, a staff member in here so I'm going to click on my test name there you can add a note review caption please and then schedule for the post approval so now you can see it here under approvals like waiting to be reviewed by that post per uh, that person um, if of course if you saved it as a draft it would be found here or if it didn't go through for some reason it would be failed scheduled posts um, that are about to be scheduled I haven't set one in, one up yet um, and all posts recent posts so we have a, an awesome area here where you can filter out what's being posted so now I can um, I'm going to change my view as the uh, approver okay so now as the approver you go into approvals you'll get an email as well or the person who's um, needing the approval um, or the person who uh, you're waiting for the approval from will get an email that they have a post that they need to review and then you can go into the approval section under marketing approvals and click on view so now you can see what the, the post is uh, and you can approve it or reject it so we can click on reject and you can put a note why you reject it um, or and you can also see their note here please review the caption and this would be the caption as well um, I just put test there so Caption, you see the image, but if you want to see the whole thing, you can click view and then you can click on approve. Once you approve the post, it will be set to schedule. You click approve and it'll be under the scheduled post. Be ready to be scheduled. Awesome. So I really love this feature because as a social media manager, um, I've tried several different types of apps out there to schedule posts and then being able to review um, or have it reviewed by your client so that they can reject or approve uh, instead of having to write it all into like a, another 
like a Google Doc or something or other platform or paying for a whole another platform besides your CRM and all the other features. So I love having this all in one um, and having this type of um, scheduler inside of Go High Level. If you have any questions about um, Go High Level or anything um, if you, or this video, comment below and I'll do another video for you. Um, and if you want to grab a free trial of Go High Level, you can click the link below this video as well. If you're a social media manager, you may also want to think about um, white labeling your own Go High Level um, platform and use this for your clients. Um, and it's something that I've been using as well. And if again, if you have any questions about that, that's a whole nother video. So we uh, will do one if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Much love and aloha.